it's going to be important to make sure that you have your patient's chin slightly elevated and you're going to feel underneath the submental lymph node. Now, once we are done palpating the submental lymph node, we are going to move right in to the submandibular lymph node. Now, there's a few techniques. However, you want to make sure that if you're behind your patient, you're gently going to take your left hand when palpating the right side of the submandibular nodes, gently applying a little bit of pressure. Then you're going to come underneath with almost your all of your fingertips. And you want to make sure that you take these nodes and you're coming all the way up the side of the patient's mouth, um, excuse me, chin. Remember, this is going to help to identify any enlarged lymph nodes as you come over the mandible with your technique. Now, as we palpate the left side, we want to make sure that we're gently pushing a little bit of pressure to the left, gently taking our fingers, cupping under the chin, and rolling up the side of the mandible to identify any type of lymph nodes that may be enlarged. 